Good day, mates. Tepe Jackie here, and this is a program called Movie Maker that I use to edit um, my videos with. And I'm going to try my best to show you how I use it the best I can. I'm not very good at uh, doing this, so bear with me. <laughs> but, um,. We're gonna. I'm gonna try my best to start with something very simple, I guess. The first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna add a sound. We're gonna start with a sound. Uh, I'm gonna add music. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a random sound. Sang song. Oh, come in. <laughs> Use copyright things. Uh, what about all this stuff? Uh, I'm just gonna go with Ice Floor, why not? Now, I just added a song to the thingy, to the, to the video. But what if I just wanted to have that beat? I would go to, I would click it. Go to music tools and click set endpoint or R, uh, I think. I never actually tried that once. <laughs> oh, that just ends the entire bit. Okay, I'm... don't press O. I never tried that before, <laughs> but don't press O. But, um, yeah. If I just want that bit, I'll just set the end point to that. But if I don't want this gap here, I'll set the start point to there. So now I'll just get this. But what if I just want this end bit to fade out? I'll set the fade to uh, slow. Um. So yeah. We got our thing going on. But uh, the one thing you can do is that you can't combine two of the sound two of the same sound files like music and you add another piece of music to it it won't work what you do is you have to add a add, you have to add a sound which is in the record narration click add sound you find a sound you want I'm gonna go with do a barrel roll that was random and do a barrel roll yeah I'm gonna skip half of it, say if I wanted to do it right to another one right here, go to music. Oh by the way, I forgot to say this, but when you do add music, you click this arrow that says here, and you do add music at the current point. You don't do add music because it's annoying to get to the point where you want it. Because it won't be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my thingy. Okay. There we go. So now I have do barrel roll as a sound and do barrel roll as a music file. So do a barrel roll. Uh, <laughs> I need to do this bit. Sorry. Okay. Do a barrel, do a barrel roll. roll. And then yeah, now those two files. I mean, two, those those two sounds are now being played, and uh, yeah, because if you try doing it again. It'll overlap the file and then do a, do a that's something you don't want to happen if you want to you know have two things saying or I mean if you want two sound files being played you need a music and a sound for it to be played um, those were the sounds and there's one more you can do this uh, record narration hello there I'm just gonna do that uh, so when I play this, it's gonna go hello there. Hello. I think I have that set so quiet. Hello there. Yeah, that's really quiet. <laughs> I, I I never set I never use record narration because all my talking is in OBS. So yeah. Um. Next thing is uh, photos and uh, splitting. Or actually, should we go with captions? I think we should. No, I don't know. 
I'm just gonna go with the uh, photos and splitting. So, say if I didn't want the part where uh, Tabajaki and uh, and I can't speak. Say if I didn't want Tabajaki falling over and making the screamy sound. I didn't want that. So I would go to video tools. I go to the point that I want, which is this, and I click split. Don't press trim because um. You just don't want that. And then I'll go to the point where I want to uh, split again. I click that. And then I have this. And what do I do with it? I can change the speed of it if I wanted to. Okay, it just reverted back to my normal voice, me going KO. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. <laughs> don't. Okay, but um, yeah, that's that. And then next thing I do, I go to add videos and photos, and I'll find a random picture. I'll just go here and just go meh. Perfect. Death stare of Tabby. <laughs> um, I'll just put a zoom thingy on it. Why not? So this is what the video looks like now. I win, you lose, what are you gonna do? Okay, that just looks weird. Also, this is an old video, so, yeah. Uh, but that's how you do the photo thing. Uh, next one is, uh, zoom. I was gonna do captions next, but I never did the zoom. So, if you wanted something like, it zooms in or pans around, you can go ahead and go to animations at the top. Go to, you click this, so you can see all of them. And you don't click automatic. Wait, actually, I've never tried what this does. What does this do? Does it pick a random spot? Yeah. Well, uh, what you do, what you can change, you can uh, pick random things. You can pick a lot of things, actually. Not many, but you know, you can pick stuff. Like you can pan it up. You can pan it over around a spot. So you can zoom it in in places. Um. I don't know why there isn't a zoom to the left. Oh no, there is. Never mind. I thought there wasn't. So if I want to uh, zoom to the left, I can go and click that and. Hey, hang on, something happened. I was supposed to say that. Goes there and then that happens. Okay, well that's weird. Um. Yeah. So next one is captions. Actually, we should go. Yeah, we got. Title credits. When you click, when you click title, you will instantly get a a black or a blank image, and it's just called background. You can uh, you can't really do much with it, but you can change the background of it if you wanted like a classic Windows XP thingy. You can go ahead and do that, but don't do that because it's weird. I normally just stick with the black background because I don't really change it that much. I also set it so that it's not doing this stupid introduction thing. Well, it's not that stupid, but you know, it's just I don't want that to happen at the very beginning of my videos. So I click the very first one, which is none, which is like none. And then I'll just get it to say, I don't know, welcome to the fight palace. I don't know how to spell the palace, but there you go. And I'll move it to that point spot, and there you go. Might as well add a sound. Welcome to the fight power. And there you go. So yeah, that's uh, that was weird. <laughs> I use three things, I think. Actually, yeah, I did use three things. All right, so that was um the title. We go ahead and use the credits. So what it instantly does is that it puts in, <laughs> sorry, you will instantly get a blank video again, but this one is, uh, actually they're both the same, they're both seven minutes, I think, um, except the credits is actually set to six minutes, and if you change this, okay, that was unexpected, uh, sorry, if you change uh, this, um, this will go to the end. So if you want it to be longer than usual, then. Yeah. 
Again, you can. It will just scroll up. But if you don't want that to happen, you can click none. But I don't want to pitch it around with that because that's basically the same as this one. What I want to do now is uh, I want to put something on the screen. Like uh, I wanted to say something. So we're gonna click caption. So it's gonna say enter text here, or you could just say sample text if you wanted to. If you want to be a meme or I don't know something. Um, right now I'm just gonna have it say this. Tabby is gonna die. There we go. So I'm gonna have it say that, and I'm gonna put it on top of his head. Now I think. If you notice the video or something, you'll see. Oh god, what the heck? Shut up! Oh, I'm so glad the OBS doesn't see that. Oh my goodness, I was gonna censor that. Okay, whatever. Uh, it says outline size, and you can change it to narrow. You can change it a lot, but um, I'm gonna, I set it to narrow all the time. But the problem with the outline is that there's a gray thingy over it, and it looks weird. So you can change the color to red. Let me change it to default black, and you can also do cool things with it. You can also you can change this, set it to black, then set this to red, and there you go. You get this neon look. Looks pretty good. I'm um, just gonna say this guy, this tabby is gonna die on top of him. And then he dies. Well, just because the video, but um, you can also have it. Uh, like appear like that if you wanted to, like you know, stuff like that. <laughs> that actually looks pretty funny. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm having problems today. All right, well, anyways, I'm gonna delete, delete that because I don't need it anymore. Um, the next thing is uh, changing visual effects. I don't have any script by the way, so yeah, bear with me. We're gonna have a wasted scene, but I'm just gonna click everything to say about them, you know. Uh, I'm going to slow down this bit. Okay, that just sounds weird. So, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click visual effects, and we're going to go to the gray one there are different tones of gray and that looks really weird because of the eyes but this one's this one's default this one is orange filter this one's red filter and this one's blue or yellow my bad I haven't played around with the gray tones much but if I want to I will uh, but I'm gonna set it to this there are other uh, other effects like uh, there's a uh, blur. There's oh god, I don't like that one. <laughs> there's poltergeist, which makes the video look old, I guess. There is a first hold. I don't think I said that right. There's a cyan tone and sepia tone. There are these little cinematic thingies, which looks pretty cool. You know, you know, there's little stars and stuff. There's a uh, overlays on it as well. There's mirrors, which actually kind of screws with your mind a little bit. And then there's 3D ripple, which can be annoying. And then there is fade in black, fade in white, hue, color thingy, pixelate, rotate 360 degrees, and warp. We're going to use a uh, fade in from white, but we don't have the gray one anymore. So we go to uh, multiple effects. And we put in the black and white filter. And there you go. Boom. So now, the next thing I want is the sound for the wasted sound from GDA, because I use that way too much. So right here, it's got the uh, part where I wanted to. How did that happen? Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, let me just re-put that. If that happens, just replace the sound. It happens a lot. So we got our thingy. 
That's what I wanted to happen. Let's slow the video a little bit down more. And now, the next thing I want to do is I'll go here. Remove this bit because I don't need it anymore. I'll go to visual effects again, multiple effects, and find the fade out to black. So then it ends like that. So, what I want to do next is add in the wasted, which is in captions, yada yada yada, wasted, I don't know what I'm gonna do, price tag. The middle, I think it's red, but I'm not sure, because I haven't played in the uh, normal ones. I'll just play the online mode. Okay, so I wanted to zoom out from there, or I can just zoom out like that. And why am I saving it? Um, yeah. So what it looks like now is uh, this. Someone can do that better on Movie Maker than I did, but when I do it a long time ago, it's just weird. But yeah, you can do that. And it doesn't want to go back any further. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, God. Okay, sorry. Also, when you're making any video, like a video. Oh, God. Uh, when you're making a video, you can sometimes mess around with these. You can change the. the uh, MPS. This will go on your video as well. So, if you want to change it, you can go ahead and do that. I didn't you I don't use this by the way, but it's something I don't use. Uh don't don't mess around with these, just don't I don't know these are oh, don't just don't. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and uh do a shaking motion and a moving motion with uh captions. The, another thing you can do with captions is that if you have, like, if you know how to use fonts and stuff, but or if you have like icon fonts, you can go ahead and use those. Uh, like cats, I'm gonna use a cat for example. That's like the only thing I could, I saw. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use a cat. I cut it to oh no. So this looks like a squirrel actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I'm gonna have it go straight into this guy's face. And how am I gonna do that? I'm going to copy it by pressing Control C, and I'm gonna click this button here, and then paste it, and then move it by any type to any time of bit, and then keep doing that until I reach its destination. It does take time, but you do get there some at some point. Also keep copy and pasting it, because it will get annoying. Trying to remember where you last put it. Otherwise you just have the shaky motion. Which you can do, but I don't use it at all because or I mean not the shaky motion, it's the twitchy motion. But uh yeah it does it just doesn't look it it takes some time to do, so yeah. And there you go. The cat is at the destination. It looks like this. Perfect. Anyways, the next bit is the shaking motion, where the cat can be shaking as fast as it can be. Um, let's find a bit different cat. Let's go with the fuzzy one. Oh, that looks cute. Actually, it looks like a dog, I don't know why. But I'm gonna put the, the cat in the mid in the middle. I'm gonna actually I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so now so what do you do from here is you click this again, you first can copy and paste, and then you move it to a random spot. And you keep doing that until whenever you feel like stopping. And I've used that a lot of times in Oreo's videos. So yeah. And I just I didn't want to make it very fast, so I put a short one. And 
It didn't look so good because it wasn't going spastic all over the place. So, but if I keep doing this, it'll look correct. Ish. But this is what it looks like now. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, oh, I'm thinking what else I, I have to show because, oh god. <laughs> okay. Um, next thing is, uh, well, sometimes. Jeez, the wind outside. Okay, sorry. Um, next thing is uh, this r the ring. Like, if you want to show something, you put a ring down or an O or like an arrow or something, and you put it over something like uh, my head. For example, you can actually put a ring on my head. But there, I put a a red ring. I put a white ring. I put a yellow ring. Like saying, hey, look at this. I can put like a. Actually, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so when they see that, it's, it actually shows what's going on here. I can also have an arrow by putting a V down. And then you just put that on top of the person's head and. <laughs> There you go. You can also move it around like the shakiness and the motion thingy, like I did before, if you want to. But when it's moving around, you also want it to keep track of it if you want to. Like this. It's annoying keeping track of it, but it's worth it's worth it because you, the the stuff you have to do to get to this point in life. I'm not gonna do the entire thing because it's gonna take for a couple of while, but that's what it, it would it would keep going down on this head until the end. And yeah, uh, let's see what else do I have? Oh, snapshots. Uh, when you're doing a snapshot, always do um, this. Say if you want this, like this bit right here. Say you want that. You, what you do is you split it, and then you go back. It will look weird, but yeah, you don't want to be dragging it because it's annoying. You snapshot it, you save it, and then there you go. You get that. Then... Oh, okay. Oh, that looks weird. That looks weirdly cool. I don't know why. Oh, wait. I win, you lose what Yeah. So, those are... Wait, what was I talking about? I think I was showing something else and then I went out, uh, like... Like, I didn't know what I was doing. But yeah, you can do that, if you want to. I'm thinking what else to show, because I'm not sure. What is show? Because I think I've showed everything already. Hmm. I'm not a hundred percent sure what else to show. So, yeah, that's it. I guess I can show the war thing. First, like five seconds or something, or a minute. Oh no, that's a second. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you still have Movie Maker, good, 
Good for you. Um, <laughs> if you don't have Movie Maker and don't know what else to use, you can use Movie Maker if you want to. If you can find a well, a download of it that works. And yeah, that's it. What? Why am I adding music? Ah! 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 I'm sorry, that just looks stupid. I win, you lose. What are you gonna do? That just looks stupid. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm laughing at my own stuff. I didn't realize this was gonna happen. I didn't expect that. I really didn't. <laughs> bitch! 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. <laughs> okay, well, um, I hope this guy. I hope this, <laughs> this guy. I hope this um helped you with Movie Maker and stuff like that. And um, I'll see you tomorrow because it's night time and I don't know what else to record. So yeah. Bye.